Hello everyone, good morning. I'm going to show you your maths challenge for today, which is all about sharing. So last week you shared into two groups. This week um, we're going to have a go at sharing into three or even four groups. So first of all, let me show you the things that I've got ready to do the sharing challenge. Okay, so here I have my teddies ready to help me with my sharing. I've given them uh, some plates as well. You don't have to do that or you could just use some plates and no teddies. I've also got some things to share. So I've had a look in the cupboard and I found some mini eggs left over from Easter. Some pasta bows mm, yummy. and some sweets as well. Also left over from Easter. Um, so, I'm going to have a go, first of all, of sharing into three groups. Okay, so I've got my three teddies here ready for the picnic. And I've decided to share out some pasta bows between them. Now you could share out other things, maybe like buttons or bu books or sweets or whatever you can find. So here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine pasta bows and I'm going to share them out between my three teddies. So let's do it now. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, another one for you, another one for you, one for you, one for you, Sippy. And one for you, big bear. And let's have a look. I had nine pasta bows. I've shared them out. And now they've each got three. Little Ted here has got one, two, three. Sippy has got one, two, three. And Big Ted has got one, two, three. So they've all got the same amount. Nine shared between three groups equals three each. Okay, this time I'm going to share out some mini eggs, mini cream eggs. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mini cream eggs to share out. And this time, joining us at the picnic is little mini zippy. So let's share out our eight mini cream eggs. See how many they get each. One for you, one for you, one for you, and one for you. Oh, still got four left. One for you, one for you, and one for you, and one for you. Let's have a look. Have they all got the same amount? You've got two, you've got two, you've got two, and you've got two. So I've shared my eight eggs out equally, and now each of my teddies has got two mini cream eggs. Okay, time to do our final sharing example, and this time I'm sharing out the sweets. So, let's see how many we've got. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine sweets and I've still got my one, two, three, four guests at my party. Okay, let's share out the sweets and see what happens. One for you. One for you. One for you, one for you, back to the start, one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, and one for you. Let's have a look. Oh, this teddy's got three, oh, Big Zippy's only got two, Ted's only got two. Little Zippy's only got two. So, have I shared them out equally? 
No, not if this teddy's got three. I'm going to take one back. Now, Ted has two, Zippy has two, Big Ted has two, and Little Zippy has two. And there's one left over. So nine shared between four, gave them two each, and one left over, and I think I know what I'm going to do with that one. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's your sharing maths challenge to have a go at today. We hope you really enjoy doing it. Remember, if you've not got sweets, you could maybe share out your books, give them all a book each to sh read, or share out buttons. Uh, dry pasta pieces are all really great to use as well. I hope you have fun and enjoy doing this sharing activity today. And we're, we're all looking forward to hearing about how you get on. Bye.